Welcome to Lesson 9 of Module 2, Apply the Properties of Operations to Add and Subtract Rational Numbers. Now remember you learned in Lesson 8 lots of things about using properties and addition and subtraction with rational numbers, but remember the purpose of properties is to make it easier. So our first step is we're going to use Exercise 1 to help us figure out the steps to solving this expression. If you will start off and just label each box so that we can then turn around and put them in the correct order. So I've actually taken our problem here and there is our problem 5 and 2 ninths minus the sum of 8 and 1 tenths plus 5 and 2 ninths. Remember our first step is when there is subtraction that we are going to add the opposite. So as I look through to find adding the opposite, adding the opposite of 8 and 1 tenths would be adding a negative 8 and 1 tenths. So as you scan down, you will see that on D that I have added the opposites. And I'm going to list D as my first step. From here, I want to think about, are there numbers that seem to be very compatible, that work well together and be easier for me to solve? And as you look at this, you may find that, in fact, it would be easier for me to get the 5 and 2 ninths closer to the other 5 and 2 ninths. So that means that I'm going to take this sum and I'm going to move these two. I haven't taken away the parentheses. So my next step is simply to change the order of the 5 and 2 9, the negative 5 and 2 ninths and the negative 8 and 1 tenths. So we're just changing the order and we will see that occur on E. And we call that the commutative property because to commute means to move, and we have moved two numbers around. So we have now moved to this location of E. Well, we know that when everything is addition, it's okay if we move things around or if we group things differently. That's the associative property and also the commutative property. So I've decided that I think that I would like to group 5 and 2 ninths and negative 5 and 2 ninths together because those numbers are compatible and they actually form a zero pair because negative 5 and 2 ninths is the opposite or the inverse of 5 and 2 ninths. So I'm going to change my grouping. And changing the grouping means that I am utilizing the step B and we call that the associative property. We change the groups. So now that I've gotten to here, my next step is I know that these two are going to actually cancel each other out or form a zero pair, giving me a answer of zero when I evaluate it. So next in line is A because we ended up with that zero pair. We had the additive inverse and that zero pair. And then my final is the solution. So my final steps were D, E, B, A, and C. Let's move on to number one. On number one, we're going to start always with noticing that there's subtraction. So my first step is to add the opposite. And I'm going to apply that to everything inside the parentheses. 
I'm going to add the opposite, okay? And I'm going to add the opposite, You could also write that as, oh, excuse me, I left the, big, the four off. You could also write that as okay, so we added the opposite. And remember, that goes back to lesson eight, where they talked about opposite of the sum is the sum of the opposite. In other words, here both terms become the opposites because we change this to, to addition. Okay, so opposite of the sum is the sum of the opposite. And lesson eight can help you review that. So now that we're right here, I'm looking and I'm noticing that I think that four and four sevenths and negative four and four sevenths will form a zero pair. So I am going to associate those two using the associative property. And now I am down to this cancels. 0 plus 10, where I evaluated, and the solution of 10. I'm sorry, you can't see that. Solution of 10. As we move into number 2, we have 5 plus negative 4 and 4 sevenths. And please remember, anytime you can pause the video if you need to practice or catch up with writing any of the notes or helpful hints down. So here, my first step is going to be, I'm already doing addition, but I'm going to decompose this. And you looked at that also in Lesson 8. You could write it out this way. It's decomposed. Okay. Notice that I applied that negative to every part, every part, because I'm basically multiplying each piece with negative one. Very often, students will make the mistake of keeping the four-sevenths as a positive, but it is a part of this mixed number. Second step is looking at that associative property, and I am going to group five plus negative four, And that is the associative property. Okay, 5 plus negative 4 is actually 1 plus a negative 4 sevenths. Now, I hope that many of you are able to just evaluate this problem, but I'm going to show you a little think. So I want you to think about that subtracting a fraction from a whole, you have to think about that whole as also being a fraction, which means you could convert it. It's kind of like giving you a piece of a pie without ever cutting the pie. So I want you to think about that one as being seven sevenths, which is one whole, plus the negative four sevenths, and then you get that solution of three sevenths. Fantastic. Okay, we're going to move on to the back and work on the next problems. I want to take a look at the very first one, and I'm going to work you through it. Now, remember our very first step. I'll turn this over so it doesn't confuse you. Our first step is always, if we have subtraction, to add the opposite. 
from that step, we are now going to look at, are there numbers that are compatible, that would be easy to work with together, to associate? And you'll notice that negative 5 and 2 tenths and plus 5 and 2 tenths would be easy to associate using the associative property. And we know that those additive inverses actually form a zero pair. So zero plus three and one tenths would give me a solution of three and one tenth. If you need to pause and copy, you may. Now let's move over to B. On B, The first thing I need to do, just like on the front problem, is we need to decompose that fraction. As we decompose that fraction, I'm going to cover up. Remember that I'm going to apply that negative sign to every part of the mixed number. 32 plus a negative 12 plus a negative 7 eighths. Now this is already in order but I can definitely do the grouping. You can use the associative property and group 32 plus a negative 12, or you can just follow that order of operations from left to right, and you get a positive 20 plus a negative 7 eighths. Now remember again, we have a whole number and we have to reduce it by that fraction. So think about that whole number being a mixed number. And you can see how I did that, the grouping there, to show that you have to subtract those fraction pieces with a solution of 19 and 1 8 As we move down to C, we're going to work through C fairly quickly. Step one, using that additive, the adding the opposite, I know you see fractions and decimals, but don't make any changes yet. Let's wait and see if it naturally changes by itself. Okay, now that I'm here, I'm noticing I use the um, add the opposite. I'm noticing that I have two numbers with fractions with the same denominator. So I'm going to group those two together using that associative property. So I'm going to pull these two numbers together, the 3 and 1, 6, plus 5 and 5, 6. And 20 and 3 tenths, tenths. So I use that associative property. Now folks, I'm going to decompose because I would like to group my whole numbers and my fractions. So I'm going to decompose to combine the 3 plus the 5, and combine the 1, 6, and the 5, 6. Because I'm going to put those fractions together. Plus 20 and 3 tenths. Okay, so I decomposed. And when I did that decomposing, I also used that associative property. So now I have 8 plus 1 plus 20 and 3 tenths. So 8 plus 1 is 9 plus 20 and 3 tenths is 29 and 3 tenths. Okay, we're going to stop here and move to a second video. Um, so at this point, if you also need to make any notes or catch up with copying those notes, you may do so. Um, I do want to show on this step right here that in between this, I was actually combining. I was showing 3 plus 1, 6 and 5 plus 5, 6 to show that decomposing. All right, so you may um, finish copying any of these notes down that you need to. You will end this video and begin the module two, lesson nine, part two.